All right, guys, I'm going to make the case of why I think it still makes good sense to invest in domain names and make it one of your income streams. Let's talk about it. Business on a bike with Brooks. Yeah. All right, so you already know I'm a big fan of building multiple income streams. I think it's smart for you to do for yourself, for your family, for your future. But let's talk about domain names. I'm gonna make five different cases, five different reasons of why I think it still makes really good sense. And I decided to make this video because a friend of mine said, oh, like, are people still flipping domain names? The internet, is that thing still around? Like, like they were just unsure that that was still happening. So the short answer is heck yeah. Absolutely. In fact, the most recent example I can think of is of a huge one is OpenAI, botchat.com. So they bought it from Darmesh, who's the owner of HubSpot. He reportedly paid $15 million, million, that's right, for that domain name, chat.com, and sold it for an undisclosed sum to OpenAI. Potentially there was like an equity deal there. So part money, part equity. I don't know. No one knows. Private deal. It's okay. But like the point is like, yeah, people are buying and selling domain names every day. All right. So here are the five reasons. The first is that users on the internet, it's growing, right? It's just getting larger. There's not less people getting online. Every year there's more people getting online. In fact, we're up to about five and a half billion people that are on the internet. That means there's still room to grow. I mean, we have almost 8 billion people on the planet. So like, as we're able to connect more people, think of like technology like Starlink, for example, that's able to get more people online where it wasn't even affordable before. That just means more opportunity, more connectivity. All right, second, it's easier than ever for people to create businesses online with tools and softwares and resources. As a side note, if you need ideas, I've got a hundred of them. You just sign up for my email list and I update every week. I like update you guys with what's going on and what I'm working on online. So you can like learn through my actions and my mess ups, and my failures. But if you want a hundred ideas, sign up for that. So related to that, you've got AI on the scene that really explodes the ease for you to come up with ideas and quickly search and see if those names are available. You can mass upload names. I say upload, you can add groups of names into, for example, a registrar like Spaceship, which is my newest favorite registrar. You can just copy and paste them all in and instantly see if they're available for you to purchase, right? So I've actually purchased, I don't know, 30 or 40 domain names from the assistance of AI helping me think through some process. So, and I already mentioned Spaceship, an old classic tool like expireddomains.net is still up and running. It's just a great tool. It allows you to filter and see and like set certain parameters for what you're looking for. It's a great tool. There's also a ton of people talking about domains and buying and selling domain names on the internet. Mainly the best source that I found is on X, formerly Twitter. Previously, I was connected to a lot of people in the SEO community and there's a lot of accounts for that, but I found for domaining, there were like hundreds. I have maybe a hundred 50 or 200 accounts that I'm following in the domain realm. So you can like learn so much. You can see what people are buying and selling. And it's really interesting. It's like real time feed for that. All right. The next reason is because, well, just the overall economy, like the overall economy is looking pretty good. So I'm in the U S and just recently we elected a new president that's going to start in January. And people think that that's going to be very helpful to the economy. So, and since the US has a pretty strong economy, it like, it can affect the, the global economy. And so just in general, overall, the world outlook for the economy is positive. So what does that mean? It means more investment. It means more people starting new things. That means more new businesses, more new websites. They need a domain name. And another reason is just because they're just not making it anymore. So that's what they say about land. You probably have heard me connect and relate domains to like real estate they are so similar it's unbelievable so they're just not they're not making it anymore <laughs> meaning there's a finite amount right now with that said caveat to that caveat let me tell you this there's still billions of variations of letters and words and combinations right that you can make into a domain name so you can easily go out today and purchase thousands of domains that you'll never sell or that will never be anything. Okay. 
that's equivalent to investing in a piece of land that is in a, a terrible part of a community or a city that's like not growing, that's getting worse, and that like everyone is moving away from and they have been for 20 years. Like, don't buy land there. It is very much the same concept, but there's a finite, there's a finite amount of it. Now I'm no pro or extreme expert, but I have done dozens and dozens of hours of research to come up with the strategy that I'm taking on. And in fact, I did accidentally sell a domain name uh, a few years ago before I got interested in this as an income stream, sort of by accident. So if you hadn't already listened to that or seen that video, I'll, I'll make sure that you can watch it. Business on the bike with Brooks, yeah.